Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I installed finally some new LED headlights with DRL, daytime running light, to the Jeep Wrangler 2020 JL Unlimited Sport. One information I received from the seller was I have to deactivate DRL. So since my car had halogen headlights, there was no DRL at all. Um, I just want to make sure, okay, is it deactivated? Do I need to do anything or not? So I had two options. Either I go to dealer and tell them, hey, please deactivate it. They might say, great, we earn easy money with this idiot. Or I do some research and figure out if there is maybe a way I can do it myself. And I did. There actually, I think I, that's what I saw, three different options. So one is the set automotive, which cost a fair load of money. I think it's more than $300. That was number one. Number two was the, I don't know how you pronounce it, ECRE. ECRA, ICRI, I don't know. Um, also, st also still expensive. I felt like more than $100. Um, the very special case with those two, um, it looks like that Chrysler, Jeep or not, in starting with 2018 with the JL, maybe before I have no idea about history, but they started to implement some security gateways with the OBD, OBDB, scanners and all those tools so you cannot just change settings on a car because every car comes equipped with a computer in the meantime so you can change things so those set automotive and the ecri easy ri they just seems to handle that well and so you can just plug it in you might have to buy a separate license for one of those or not i did not check on that part it was already more expensive than my solution i felt like We'll see, maybe it gets more expensive over time, who knows? But um, I decided to go with a third option, and the third option is called Chasecan. And Chasecan is an app. You have to pay, I think it was $25 or $29 for the license, which then is tied to your VIN number of your car. So you cannot share that, you cannot go and proceed with another one. You could buy multiple licenses, which costs more money. I only have one car, so I only need it once. And you have to buy two components. One component, is still one of those OBDB, OBDB scanners and adapters. In this case, I got a V-Linker MC Plus. That one worked for me well. I can recommend it for the Jeep Wrangler JL2020 Unlimited Sport. Additionally, you need to get a wire. This one, as always, everything's linked in the description below. This one, basically, in combination with the scanner, you plug it in here and then you have two more inputs and here's a picture for my cheap wrangler also link in the description where you can find those schemes and there you can see that you need to connect the module security gateways to this adapter that it works and that it can change settings and when you have done that very important you have to do that first and i explained just my use case you know so when you have done that you can switch to your phone I'm using Android and I downloaded the, the app OBD Chase Scan. And here you can see how it looks like. And I have to select, so right now I'm not connected to a car. I'm showing you the demo version, but it is exactly the same, what you have to do. So when you have this one plugged into the car, open the app, select your Wrangler JL 2018 to 2024. It says, wow, well, we have 2023, insane, right? Select OBD adapter to connect and you have to turn on your Bluetooth, and you can select just Bluetooth OBD uh, Auto Connect to Bluetooth 4.0 Low Energy. Uh, in this case, up there you would see uh, the VIN number, you would see the bus, battery, and so on. And I don't care about the other stuff, I was just focusing on one thing, but you can of course go through it. You have to go to Adaption. And here in Adaption, there are so many other options you can configure, and as much as I understood, also you can change your tire size. So for those of you who wanted to upgrade to bigger tires and want to avoid going to the dealer, that might be a cheap alternative. Just saying, you know. We are focusing here on DRL daytime running light and settings. Clicking on this one. And what I've done, I went through all the options, daytime running lamps present, Yes, no, I deactivated everything possible. I went through daytime running lamps present on off, DRL configuration, DRL custom setting, and 
what was the other one? Inverter status indicator present on off. Because here you can see this is using fuse 34. I change it to deactivate it. So all those kind of things I did, send it to the car, disconnected this one. Okay, I hope I made it as easy as possible. Um, the only thing please pay attention on, in order how you connect it, you don't have to turn on the car, but you can have it connected and turning on the car to change settings on the fly as well. I'm not sure if that's recommended, I did it, just for testing reasons. Worked well for me. Anyways, the deactivating part is important. This is the requirement for the LED headlights, which you can find in the video. Um, up there. What I also want to say is um, cost-wise, is it cheaper than the other two solutions I mentioned earlier? Um, as of now, and I did not include tax, I spent about a hundred something dollars. Is it way cheaper? I don't know, but um, I'm definitely being able to reuse it for other reasons and uh, maybe that helps you as well. It was fairly simple to be honest, the app worked great, changing settings worked great. I'm not sure if it's legal or not. Disclaimer, I'm not telling you you have to do it. Please, as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, um, that helps me a lot. And I understand if you like those kind of videos and uh, if I should continue doing those videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.